Are rolled oats with milk blood sugar friendly? With PCOS and insulin resistance, I'm always trying to understand how different meals affect my glucose levels. Today, I'm testing oatmeal made with 40 grams of rolled oats and 240 ml of full fat milk with no sweeteners added. This portion has around 310 calories in total. I'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor, so let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar rose by 50 mg per dl and took around 3 hours to return to baseline. So is this a good or bad spike? With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2.5 to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was a bit more than I'd like and it took some time for my blood sugar to come back down. However, in my previous test with instant oats, my glucose levels had risen by 63 mg per dl. This time, the spike was comparatively gentler and climbed more slowly, making rolled oats the better option for managing blood sugar. So why did this happen? Oats are high in carbs, so they naturally raise blood sugar. This meal had a lot of carbs and not enough fat or protein to make it well balanced. That said, rolled oats are less processed than instant oats and digest more slowly. So the sugar release was slower and the spike more gradual compared to instant oats. Overall, this meal was just about okay. The spike wasn't too high, but it wasn't very stable either. Let me know what you think in the comments below.